Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. If this is your first time on this channel, my name is Vanessa. I make natural hair videos just like this one. So if you're interested in this kind of content, be sure to click that subscribe button and become a member of the family. And also don't forget to hit your notification bell so you don't miss out on any video when I put it out every single Tuesdays and Fridays of the week. Okay, uh, if you're returning, thank you so much for support. I'm so grateful to have you guys watch my videos, you know, like and comment and subscribe as well. So I really, really appreciate the love and support. So in today's video, guys, I'm going to show you my wash day routine from start to finish. And most of the ingredients we're going to use in this video will be natural for the most part. So no shop bought stuff. Um, actually, I lied. There will be only one ingredient that has been short bought but the rest of the stuff are just diy so i'm starting here by making a people treatment for my hair so basically it's just aloe vera gel i've got a video coming after this one just to show you how to make the gel if you don't know how to do it it's really really simple now pre-pooing is actually an amazing way of you know retaining length so if you are trying to retain length you want to make sure that before you wash your hair or shampoo your hair that you pre-poo so pre-pooing essentially um, just protects your hair from getting completely stripped of its moisture after shampooing um so obviously we know that if you're trying to retain length you need as much moisture in your hair to prevent breakage so that's why pre pooing is really really important now my hair actually wasn't too bad to be honest because i've been very very good with moisturizing my hair on the regular and also with the diys that i've been doing like my hair has been extremely soft like extremely moisturized more than usual actually so my hair at this point didn't really feel so dry but i just felt like you know i really i kind of just needed to keep that moisture in um after shampooing so that's why i decided to do this people treatment so basically i just parted my hair here in four sections um just so that you know it's easier to apply the aloe vera gel on it um so i'm just starting on my ends here and then i'm working walking my is it work working my way uh, through to the roots um, so but you can apply it however you want uh, if you are doing this some people actually apply the, the I mean the cut the plant aloe vera plant and just apply the gel directly to the hair without having to ex extract it um, I just find that that doesn't work for me because it first of all it takes a very long time for me to get all the gel out and also I get you know some aloe vera pieces left in my hair and I just don't like that so I find extracting a lot easier and more practical uh, but you can do it however you want you can actually buy the actual gel from the store if you haven't got the plant or maybe if you haven't got time to do this like I said I've got a video coming up on how to do it um, so aloe vera is really really good it has a, amazing properties you know um, with regards to promoting hair growth and also moisture so if your hair is usually really, really dry it's definitely worth perhaps considering trying aloe vera you know and see how your hair responds to it obviously there are, there are a few people that aloe vera just dries their hair out so it's worth just trying and if it's drying then definitely stop I love aloe vera because I've seen so much result from just using it and I usually just tend to stick to what I know works um, obviously I want to be a bit more open and try other things as well I mean lots of you guys suggested using amla powder and especially for my greys and I've definitely taken it on board and went ahead actually funnily enough and ordered some amla powder so I will try it for the first time and you will get to see it um, so basically I'm just yeah just applying the um, gel to my hair here making sure that you know every bit of the hair is covered and then I'll just twist that section away and move on to the next pretty much
so I made exactly the, the amount that I needed for my hair um, but if you if it happens that you have some leftover you can just pop it in the fridge and then use it again next time I usually just gauge it based on the plant that I get so perhaps if the plant is larger and it's got more flesh in it then I know I don't need to cut so much because you know it means that you know that plant will give me more juice so you can just do the same pretty much so if you've got a smaller plant then maybe you probably would need a lot more uh, than I did so but like I said if you've got leftovers it's fine just pop it in the fridge and then you can use it again next time so when I um, finish basically putting the um, what's it called the gel on my hair I was now ready to put a plastic bag on now the plastic bag is actually good at you know providing my hair with heat if you got an actual heat cap or a deep conditioning cap or anything like that you can use it but plastic bag works perfectly fine i've always used it and it's readily available as well like i've always got it in my kitchen um so i left it for about one hour and i was basically ready to shampoo my hair now um so when i tell you guys when i took this plastic bag off my head like oh seriously my hair was so moisturized like so soft the amount of moisture that was in my hair was just unbelievable but obviously i had to wash it so <laughs> i still had to wash my hair because my scalp was dirty but you know when your hair feels so soft and so luxurious it just yeah it just feels so nice and you just want to keep it but hey yeah i had to just wash so i decided to um you know part each one of those sections that i had into two sections again just because i found that every time i shampoo my hair my twists or not only shampoo like every time i wash my hair my twists always get undone so i just decided to work in smaller twists that way i can retain them a bit for a bit longer although it will still get undone anyways but it just saves me time um yeah and also you know it, my hair doesn't get tangled so i just prefer to wash my hair just for the, the just for that reason it's more manageable so um yeah once i'm done i'm done with that i'm now ready to actually shampoo my hair so i did not pour any water on my hair here guys i just went in directly with my shampoo i'm using my homemade shampoo here um I've, I've got a video on my channel about this so you can actually check it out some people actually asked me last time about the shelf life of the shampoo um i can say it lasts quite a very long time because you know i've i've had this for over one month and it was just sitting there in my bathroom and today i just decided to just use it because obviously i wasn't sure how much longer i could have kept it so yeah i just thought i would use it um, and it was still fine the only thing that I noticed that was a bit different this time was just the color so it was a little bit darker than it was the first time I made it it was probably due to blue black soap or maybe aloe vera you know aloe vera actually changes color um, when you leave it you know for some time it goes from like clear to reddish brown kind of color so that could have contributed to you know the change in color but you can see it's still light as well you know and my hair felt really clean as well after this so i can say the shampoo is definitely amazing and apart from leaving my hair clean my hair also felt moisturized so it's not something that i use very often because of the baking soda in it and if you are to use this as well don't use it every single time like every single wash day the reason why that is is because baking soda can actually alter the pH of your hair and over time it can actually change the texture it can actually damage your hair as well so you don't want to use it every single time but I just thought I would use it because yeah I just wanted to get rid of it pretty much because I didn't know how long I could have kept it my daughter was crying here guys so that's why you're seeing her in the video so I had finished washing the um or washing my hair and like I said it felt so nice and clean and moisturized but I still needed to you know give it some extra moisture so I'm going in here with my dip conditioning mask so basically it's a fenugreek dip conditioning mask I've got a video again on my channel but maybe a couple of videos on how I make this so I did not record me making this because you know it's already available but I use aloe vera as well in this recipe just because yeah I just love aloe vera it's really really moisturizing like I said before and also fenugreek is also a great moisturizer like I noticed that every time I put it on my hair it feels so soft and the moisture lasts for quite some days so yeah I really love fenugreek and aloe vera together it's just amazing even on its own actually it's still good 
so um so i'm just applying that to my hair here uh obviously focusing on my ends and then you know working my way to my roots pretty much so i did not save my um fenugreek mask after i made it um just because i was kind of in a hurry you know when you're actually doing something and then you've got a baby in the background like shouting not shouting but like screaming crying um it puts so much pressure on you so basically i just yeah did it as quickly as i could so at the end of this actually i did have some pieces some bits of fenugreek left in my hair um but i didn't actually mind it because when i combed my hair it did come out uh, although not all of it came out i didn't actually mind it to be honest because you know it will eventually come out and also i just liked how moisturized my hair felt now when you're um, washing your hair it's quite important that you use products that are moisturizing now a lot of people lose quite a lot of hair during wash day um, they probably experience breakage some of them or maybe just excessive amount of shedding that is really really unnecessary that usually could happen if perhaps you're using a shampoo that's really drying and tangly so if it leaves your hair very tangled at the end of you know of shampooing then that's not a good thing because when it now comes to sort of sorting out those tangles you are definitely going to lose more hair than you would have if perhaps you didn't have to deal with that so that's why on wash days i usually you know take care of the type of products that i use i just want to make sure that you know it's not anything that's going to leave my hair so dried and matted and tangled because you know we're trying to retain length you know and you know keep growing healthy hair pretty much so once i finished putting the uh, fenugreek on my hair guys i put a plastic cap on i did not record that bit because my daughter was crying um so but basically i left it for like an hour again and then i was just ready to wash it now uh, as you can see here my hair you know felt really i mean looks kind of moisturized obviously you, you you can't feel it but it did feel really really moisturized as um when i took the plastic uh, bag off so i was then ready to just rinse it off so i just went ahead and did that and basically this is what my hair looks like you can see my curls are still looking pretty good now you can see it's got like some bits in it um, but that's the fenugreek seed it's not because you know my hair is not properly washed it is properly washed but i did have some stuff from the fenugreek left in my hair um but that did cut come out for the most of it when i was combing later the other thing as well if you notice i did not do any detangling in this um, wash days so far um because i left it till the end i usually like to detangle my hair after it has been sort of deep conditioned or you know when it's like moisturized now i find that when i do it that way my curls tend to you know open up a bit more i get less knots and tangles it's just yeah my comb just slides through my hair a lot easily compared to perhaps if i just you know detangle my hair without um, conditioning so that's why sometimes i just leave it till the last like you know the last bit in my wash routine um but you can just do what works for your hair you know you can use you can detangle before you actually wash it or you can just follow the same steps that i do here but i find that this works best and it prevents you know excessive shedding or breakage so i'm now ready to kind of detangle it here guys and you know moisturize and sealing that moisture uh, basically so i'm using uh, my fenugreek spray now i've actually gone on this fenugreek challenge um that i'm gonna do for a month maybe or two months just to see how much hair i can grow um within that time so you can actually join me if you're interested in this challenge so we're going to be spraying our hair with that fenugreek uh, spray uh, perhaps every couple of days and do that for a whole month just to see basically where our hair you know ends at so i don't know we'll see um so i, I know fenugreek seed 
can definitely grow its hair but i want to see how much it can actually grow in the space of a month so it's a is a bit of an experiment pretty much okay so back to the video so yeah i'm using that spray and also cantu leave-in conditioner and my fenugreek oil that i made last time um to seal in the moisture i actually mixed it with um what's it called castor oil um so yeah but you can use any oil of your choice here just to seal in the moisture in your hair um so yeah basically um i just spray that you know put the cantu leaving on it just to, you know moisture, moisturize it a bit more and then the oil as well and comb it through and then once it's nicely detangled and then twist it just like you've seen me do here and then i move on to the next section and i repeat pretty much so very very straightforward very very easy to do um my hair actually felt really really soft here i didn't actually need the country leaving but i just thought yeah why not just use it <laughs> so at this point i was completely done and my hair kind of look really nice and shiny you can't actually tell that you know i had some stuff left in my hair could you when you look at my hair now it looks so much better um because when you actually comb your hair all that that those bits of fenugreek just comes out so i'm just going in here with my fenugreek oil on my edges because i'm still trying to regrow them and also on my scalp so i'm just applying that and massaging that in scalp massages are great guys at you know improving circulation you know increasing blood supply to your scalp and you know and promoting high growth so I, it's something it's something that i usually like to do uh you know on the regular if i'm moisturizing my hair if i'm touching my hair or anything so yeah that's pretty much it you know very very simple i do hope that you know um this video has helped you and if you did like it don't forget to give it a thumbs up as always and also leave a comment you know i read all my comments guys and if you've got any question leave them in the comment section i will certainly get back to you that's basically how much hair i lost you know throughout the whole process i don't think it's a lot actually um given i did not you know pre-detangle or anything like that so it's a pretty good amount i mean small amount so yeah subscribe if you're not already subscribed guys for more videos and i'll catch you in my next one so thank you so much for watching do take care bye